What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Look, I'm just going to put this out here, man. Now, a lot of people who don't know the relationship between me and Chief Grills, man. Chief Grills been my guy since 2004. Me and that brother was locked up together, man. And um, we had a, a, a mutual friend of ours that ended up passing away, man. Cersei, man. That's how we met each other. We met each other through Cersei. Cersei and I was cool. Cersei and him was cool. And because we both were cool with Cersei, we ended up all being cool together while we was in prison, man. And um, Cersei used to always want to buy this song from me called Cheetahs. I had a part one, part two, and part three to it. And uh, he wanted it so bad because everybody in the joint was loving it. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, come on, man. I'm going to put $5,000 on your book right now, man. I was like, no, nope, no, nope, I'm not selling my music. But uh, Cersei ended up passing, man, in a car accident. He ended up getting killed in a car accident, man. Chief Grills and I, man, ended up getting back in contact with each other. And we've been, we've been here ever since. You know what I'm saying? Um, that brother, man, doing a lot of big things, man, out there in Vegas, man. He doing music with Future, Yo Gotti, Spice One, AR App. Y'all saw that, you know what I'm saying? Um, he got a filming company called Blazing Records Film. And um, he helping me out in some of my projects that I'm doing. He give me a lot of advice and his battle rap stuff and everything. I mean, we've been cool with each other, man, for a long, long time, man. That's a real brother of mine. Even to the point, this brother got the code to my YouTube page and channel. I gave it to him to upload whatever he want to help promote and push whatever product he he, he, he uh, want to do. And because I did that for him, he wanted to do something for me, you know what I'm saying, to help me with what I'm doing. So what he did was he made a video for styrofoams and ashtrays at the same time using a lot of his uh, clips and films for his, uh, for his company stuff, you know what I'm saying, for his company and stuff. So... Um, he put it up and my girl told me like, did you just put up a video of thigh phones and ashtrays? I said, no, I was half asleep too. Cause she woke me up. I was like, uh, no. She said, well, somebody just put up a thigh phone and ashtray video, uh, 40 something minutes ago. I said, uh, let me, let me see it. So she handed me the phone. I look, I say, oh, that's my guy, Chief Grill. I gave him my uh, code and stuff. I say, well, let me put it on private because I, I ain't see all this, what, what he got on it. I ain't see everything, what he got on it. So let me put it on private so I can look at, look at this stuff. Now, I put it on private, but I had went back to sleep because I was, I was up. I put it on private and I went back to sleep. Cause I had been up that whole morning. So when I get up, finally, dude, the ugly dude with the slice in his face, that dude took the whole video, put it on his channel, removed my song off, put his song on, then came on there doing a lot of lying. Mr. Who Never Lies, but lie all the time. He accused me of putting up a video for styrofoams and ashtrays, which I didn't do. Then he said I tried to lie to the battle rap community as though this is the real video, but I didn't do it. And I like I was gonna really get away with doing a video, a real video for styrofoams and ashtrays, even though I'm not in the video at all. But somehow I was going to get away with that. Even though at the end of the video, it clearly says, Blazing Records film. Anybody been dealing with me and anybody been rocking with me know about me know my stuff is forbidden records. Forbidden records. I don't have no movie uh, 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 directors or nothing like this. So this brother saying all these lies and stalking my channel. Here's the thing I don't get. I deleted you off my channel, man. I blocked you off my channel. Why is it that I'm on notification immediately after everything dropped from my channel? Why is it that you got it and you delete it? But he's going to lie and say, no, people send it to me. People give it to me. No, you got fake profiles 
And this ain't no lie. You got fake profiles and you got me on notification because you stalked me and love my stuff just that much. That every time something of mine drop, you got a copy of it like you said in the very beginning before you were known to be a hater and stalker. I got all his stuff. I watch it all. I got every one. You think you're going to stop now? Hell no. When I deleted you after finding out the type of sucker you was, you didn't do nothing but make fake profiles. You them dudes who be coming over on my channel, acting like you somebody else, bringing your name up, hoping that it'll get some type of light and attention. But this is why you fail, man, and you're not successful in what you're doing, man. You have been a proven fraud, a proven coward, a proven lame, a proven jealous dude, and you take L's when it come to me every time. So stop lying saying you unelible when all you do is take L's from me. You about to take another one. First of all, you said you not a liar, and you don't lie. Those are your exact words. Let me ask y'all people something. What man y'all know don't lie and ain't never lied? Please explain that. I believe what the Bible say. The Bible say every man is a liar. If you finna sit here and, on, on, and say out of your mouth, you don't lie and you don't tell lies, that's a lie within itself. That's another L for you. And ain't no real person who know this to be a fact gonna ever say and agree to you that you don't lie. You ain't gonna even get your wife to tell you you don't lie. Because you a damn lie. That's all you do is lie. Here's another thing you lied about. You lied and said I put that five phones and ashtray video up. But I didn't do that. Chief Real did that. That was his whole project. He did that himself. Because I allowed him to promote on my channel. He called himself doing me a favor also. To help promote my song. And put all his video clips off his movies and stuff that he's doing inside my, uh, 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 on my channel with my song. Because you, you figure if I tell this brother, hey look. Here's my channel. I trust him like that. Here's my channel bro. You can put your stuff up and promote your movies. You can promote your music. Here's my uh, code. What you think that brother going to do? First, he's going to be honored by it because I got a real channel. that got views and numbers and all that. So you know what he like? He, he going to be like any other man would. I ain't going to just be promoting on my stuff without looking out for him also. I'm going to take his song. I'm going to do a video for it and put my stuff around and help promote it both ways. I'm going to promote Star Phones and Ad Trades and I'm going to do my own video for it too. Promote my stuff on it. That's what he did. This dude got so jealous, man. So hating. He immediately took the video, took my song off, then put his song on it. Then going to give an, uh, this lame excuse of why he did it like, oh, battle truth stealing footage and clips off the internet. You lied again. I had nothing to do with that. Everybody know me that I don't even edit. I don't even know how to edit. I don't even try to learn how to edit. So how am I doing this stuff? Oh, then he uploaded it and wouldn't even give Chief Grill his credit off of. First of all, I didn't even upload it. You lied again. Second of all, Chief Real did all that. So how could I give him credit for not give him credit for something he the one he the one doing it? He doing the tagging, he doing the loading, he doing the clipping, he putting it up. He didn't even tell me he put the song up. I was asleep. My girl woke me up because she subscribed to Battle True and she got the notification and she said, babe. Star Phones and Ashtray just got uploaded and it's saying it's a video. I say, my guy Chief Grill did that. I gave him the code. I gave him the code to it. You know what I'm saying? I looked at it. I put it on private because I ain't see the whole thing. But I was still tired because I had been up all morning. Soon I wake up. This dude then already took it, put it, and got this whole story about how I'm frauding the battle rap community. How I'm not. See, that's what I don't like about this hater, shifty, dirty, jealous, obsessed dude. Damn, dog, you got a wife. Four kids. 
Why am I your topic all the time? Why is it always, look, and I really don't care. You can say what you want, dog, because if I decide to roast your ass, fam, ain't nothing you can do but cry and boo-hoo. If I decide to cut you up like I want to, like I can do, ain't nothing you can do but accept that L too, dog. But I'm not going to feed off into it. I'm going to keep exposing you as the fraud you are. And the battle rap community going to do the rest, fam. You're a stalking, obsessed, jealous ass dude who sit there and pretend like your life is all good. But it's obvious you can't forget about me. You always look, damn, am I, on, am I on your mind like that? Your number's low as hell. 100, 200 views. Look. So what? So guess what? Man, I need to talk about battle truth. This ain't going right. Talking about real blog and go to events. Right. That's what the hell you are. You a blogger. I didn't try to be a blogger. You see the difference? I ain't knew nothing about it. I don't even think I even pronounce it right because somebody told me it ain't blogging. It's vlogging with a V. V or B, Campbell Soup, whatever the hell it is. I don't give a damn. I'm doing something for the people. And this is why they like me. And this is why they rock with me. And this is why you never accepted. This is why you never liked. This is why you've been here since 2013 and you still can't get over the hump. You still can't get over the hump. And everybody keep beating you in this race. So why are you saying that you a real blogger and you got pictures of 40 and this DNA and uh, daylight and them all that? That don't do nothing. What, do, what the hell that do for you? Them regular people, man, live up the street and around the corner from somebody. You think them superstars, you think them superstars who looking out for you, who actually coming to help you out? Man, get the hell out of here, man. Man, get, dude, get a life. Get a life. Then you try to talk about, look, let me tell you something. You keep lying and then saying you're not. I don't know how to do good videos. Okay, Savannah made leeches. I did that whole video. Go to it. It has no concept to it. Right. Go to it and tell me, do you understand the concept in it? Song called Leeches. Savannah Mays, I directed that whole thing, man. Wrote the song also, paid for the whole video. See, that's the difference between me and your videos. You just did do your stuff and cut the camera on. I actually put money into mine. That's Savannah May leeching video, $3,000. I paid $3,000 just doing that, doing that, not recording and cutting the camera on recording. $3,000 out of my pocket doing that. Ham Boys Racks on Me. I did that too. Concept to that video too. Go, go there and watch it. It's about jealous dudes like you trying to do some stupid stuff. Guess what happened? That was another 4000 4000 in cash on that one. You, I'm the wrong one to talk to. You're going to keep catching L dealing with me, fam. And I'm going to keep exposing you as being a liar and a fraud, Julia. So now we see that you're not telling the truth. Now we see that all you do is take L's. Talking about you uneligible. All you do is take L's. I'm steady giving you L's. And you're going to keep getting them. Because you continue to lie. And I'm going to keep exposing you as being a sadistic, obsessive stalker. He talking about, oh, I would just troll. He want to he wanna justify stalking me. No, you know, I, I I saw his video. So I just decided to troll him. No, 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 no. Troll Trolling is another name for stalking if y'all don't get it. When you troll somebody, that means you you, 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 you you keep stalking them. Everything When you trolling them, you following their every move, watching their every move. What real man does that, y'all? Could I ask y'all that question? What real man can sit there and say, I'm a troll? What real man would say, I'm a troll and I troll you? Or, or, or try to say, no, I troll everybody to justify trolling somebody. See, I see, you're not smarter than me. Your wordplay not going to work on me. You can't manipulate and make the thing work in your advantage because it won't. That's called a stalker. You are obsessed with a guy you don't know, never seen, and jealous of what I'm doing because you've been here longer. I've been here lesser, and I have accomplished more than you, and you do so-called more than me. 
I don't know 40 bars. You do. How does that help your career when I'm still better than you? You know DNA. I don't know him. You know Daylight. I don't know him. You got pictures of K-Shine and them. I don't know them. How does that help you in your career when you go to all these events, know all these battle rappers? I haven't been to one, don't know not one, and I'm still more successful than you in blogging. Please tell me, how does that help you? And my channel was deleted. Came back, still beating you again in numbers, subscribers, and views. So you tell me, how does knowing all these people help you out when I'm still more successful than you in the damn room in my house. I wait. Right. Right. And not only that, he talking about we still in clips. Let me tell you something the difference between me and you. You got to put fake girls in your videos who not even a person you even dealing with in real life. You have to put fake women in your video so you never touch the guy any type of real dealing with in your life pretending to be somebody in a relationship with you in your videos you know the difference between me and you family i ain't gonna fake it if i got a girl in my video she's not gonna be a pretend woman i pretended to touch i didn't have i'm not look look look, look. If, if you that a shame of your life is you that ashamed of who you lay down and made a commitment and vow to? Because I'm not. If I have a girl in my video, fam, it's going to be the one I touch. So guess what? If you dissatisfied in what you chose, that's on you. Deal with it. Live with it. I'm not going to be ashamed to live and, and, and do that of mine. Whoever going to play the woman who I'm with, you, I'm letting y'all know this right now. Whoever's going to be a woman that, that, that's going to be in my video, that's supposed to be my girl, we definitely have some dealings with each other. Definitely. And you heard it out of my mouth. Period. I ain't nothing like you, dog. You ashamed of yours. I ain't never ashamed of mine. That's the difference between us. Stop trying to compare yourself to me and what we doing, man. You a jealous dude. And that video footage you got, that come from Chief Real, real company, man. So I advise you to, man, get rid of it. Because it's not yours. That actually belonged to him. And I seen the proof of it. I seen the proof of it. And he didn't like you taking his stuff. Try to make it seem like it's coming from the internet and it's not real. That's his stuff, man. You a stalker. You a hater. You a jealous dude, man. Get a life, dog. Get a life and grow the hell up, man. You sad. You miserable. You depressed. How you going to be that damn sad, miserable, and depressed, man? Stop reaching out to me, acting like a little female. Stop always trying to reach out to me. Stop trying to get my attention all the time. Grow the hell up, dude, and get a life. You a sucker, man. You a sucker and you a coward. You a sucker and you a coward. You a real life coward. All that talking you do, man, don't mean nothing, man. You are a coward, man, and you a lame, and you a sucker, and nobody likes you, fam. Nobody likes you. So that's what you have to live with. I'm cool. I'm okay. Every time you lie on me, you're going to keep taking the L like you just did. So that you know what your clothing line should be? I keep taking L's. I keep taking L's because you're a loser. You lose it. You're a loser, and you lousy. You, that's what your L mean, mean. You a loser, you lousy, you loud, and your face is lucrative. <laughs> your face is lucrative. <laughs> Stabbed all up, your, 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 your chin hang off, your chin hang off your face. <laughs> this dude real jealous of us. Frust he frustratedly jealous of us, man. Damn, everything we do. He want a copy of it. Say something about it. Your own team left you. 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 See that? Your, why, why did your team leave you? Because they like me. <laughs> he hated that. He hated that. He hated that. You doing the show. And right in the middle of your show, you hear something say, Battle True, my favorite blogger. Hold on, cut that. Yeah. Yeah. Bother you, don't it? And you try to sabotage and snake that man behind that. 
But you been knew that. He never kept that no secret. He said that from the very beginning. Battle Truth, my favorite blog. You want some views? Is that what you want? Do you, look, let me tell you about me giving you some views. It won't help your subscribers. You can have some views. Boo-hoo. Because at the end of the day, let me tell you why you're just not successful. Because even in doing your views, nobody likes you. Let me prove to you how nobody likes you. You bragged about the Conor McGregor recap you did. Oh, I got 16,000 and you lied again. I got 16,000 uh, views off that. Let me tell you what you lied about. You said Battle Truth ain't got no sick. That he never did sick. That was your exact words. He never had 6,000 views off of, a, off of a blog. You sound so stupid. You right, I didn't. I had 10s and 20s and 30s and 40s and 50,000 off of blogs. Everybody know I did that. Like, what are you talking about? You, you don't even know mathematics. You think you're so smart. You don't even know mathematics. Here's my question to you. <laughs> Here's my question to you. You think I have the millions of views because I keep on just doing blogs back to back? So it would take me hundreds of thousands, hundreds of, if, if, if that's your logic, it will take me hundreds of thousands of blogs to reach and accumulate that if I'm not getting views off of them to get to, to the millions. But I would have to have been having blogs that getting those numbers in order for me to have like six million something views already in like two years almost. It ain't even been two years fully yet. That's happening November 21st. So please explain that logic to me. But you can't. But you lied and said, I don't get those numbers. But here's my point to you. Your subscribers still exactly where they was, even though you got 16,000 off the Conor McGregor fight at the time that the Conor McGregor fight just ended. So everybody know it was going to get views. But it's obvious the people that were watching you didn't like what they were seeing and they wasn't even subscribing to your channel. Your subscribers haven't changed. You do know that, right? They haven't. Get up out of here, you clown. Nobody likes you. You don't know how to talk. You get up, your face ain't camera friendly. That's another thing. When you're doing this entertainment, fam, you got to have a face too that people could, could, could watch and enjoy. I watch your, look, I watch, <laughs> when you say something about me, I watch your video with the computer, with the computer off and a volume on. <laughs> I flip the phone, I flip the phone down and hear the volume. I color my screen. I take my permanent magic mark and color my screen. <laughs> and just hear a voice. Can't tolerate that face for no 15, 20 minutes. You Halloween, you you permanent Halloween. <laughs> your face been jack o you, you, when a person saw your face, that was the definition they gave beat down to. <laughs> you a you a real walking, you a real walking Halloween. <laughs> this dude jealous. I'm talking about. It bothers him like. He, he can't rest. He can't rest. This dude is a stalker. Stalking everything we doing. Lie. So I'm just saying that to my people, man. Listen. Chief Grill put that stuff up there. And it's no big deal. He can do what he want to do. He, y'all, Look, y'all finna see a lot of stuff. Y'all saw his ARF clip of him and ARF video. Y'all just saw uh, his other clip with him and his other movie. That brother got a real movie film company. And he... Took my music, put it in there, and I'm going to be helping with some of his soundtracks for his movies. You know what I'm saying? He talking about we taking movie clips from all other people's stuff and making it look like ours, and it ain't true and real. Well, first of all, it's his. It's not mine. But guess what? I'm, I'm getting in on that. I'm in on that now. I'm involved in it too now. Now, I done got some stuff I got to do. You get what I'm saying? Get up out of here, man. Ain't nothing fraudulent about what my guy doing, man. That brother got some. Go Google Chief Grill. 
You're going to see him and Yo Gotti, him and Future, him and Spice One. You're going to see that. Get up out of here. That dude just talking, man. He a jealous, jealous, shifty dude, man. The movie clips and stuff that he was putting on my song and stuff, that's from his real company, man. Nobody trying to get over and fraud. How the hell are we trying to get over and fraud the battle rap community? It clearly say Blazing Records Films. I'm forbidden records. It doesn't say forbidden records. He did that. Uploaded it everything. He got my code. I gave him my code to do all that. Get up out of here. That ain't nothing new. You tried to hate on him the last time. You tried to do some shifty hating on him the last time. Then he flexed on you again. Then you got quiet and went up under a rock again. Then now you try to peek back out and come back up. Man, ain't nobody got to show you nothing. You jealous. Stop hating. Don't worry about what the hell we doing. Don't worry about what I do on my music, what video clips I put out. I don't care if... Man, you know how many people got star phones and ad trays on personal clips and videos of theirs? Look up star phones and ad trays. Thank you for the more views. Look up star phones and ad trays. Look how many... Girl in Atlanta club twerking in star phone ad tray. Dude in the car playing star phone ad tray. Dude in his, in, at the club playing star phone and ad tray. Why is this any different? Because it's on my page and my guy did. Oh, he cheating us, y'all. He's supposed to give us the real video. They put up a fake video. Ain't nobody. Right, I put up a fake video and I'm not even in it. Neither is my record label even being mentioned in it. But I put up a fake video on a song I put out under my record company, but I don't even mention my record company in my own video. Shut your boy, shut up. You so damn dumb. Stop being so jealous. Stop watching us. Stop watching us all the time. You a stalker. I deleted you for a reason. I deleted you off my channel for a reason. Why you keep coming back? How come on, y'all? Let's just be honest, y'all. If a person deletes you off their stuff, why do you come back? You a man. Be a damn man. If a dude don't want you around, why you keep coming around? No, I still want to go over there. I still want to talk. I still want... Then you going up on the fake profiles, coming to our live feeds, all on our channel, pretending to be somebody else, bringing yourself up. Nobody acknowledge you. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You jealous and mad because your career is not moving nowhere, fam, when it comes to this blogging stuff. So he going to put up a thing and say, real bloggers go to events. Right. Real bloggers go to events. That's different between us. I'm not a blogger. You a blogger. You wanted to be a blogger. You got in it to do this. I didn't. You know 40. You know DNA. You know they like them. You put up pictures of you with all them. But here's my thing. I got to give you this other L, please. Can I give you this other L? Yes, I'm going to give you another L. You know all them. It don't even help your channel. You got pictures of you up with them, video with you up on them. ARP came to your show, sat down with you. What did it do for your channel? Nothing. Your subscribers didn't even move. You go to all these events, know all these battle rappers personally, and your channel still not growing. And here go a person who don't go to events, don't know no battle rappers, don't know no league owners. Most of them probably hate me, but yet my channel more successful than yours. And you in the core with them. You got direct numbers on them. They eat at your table, come visit your house, but they ain't never seen me, and I'm still more popular and successful than you in this. So what does that say about you? Right. Enjoy that L. Lousy lo you lousy loser. Enjoy that L. You lousy loser with a lucrative, ugly face. <laughs> with a face of a llama. A lousy llama loser. Get up out of here, man. You're going to continue to take L's. Don't you know every time you deal with me, you take L's? You happy about that? You like being, you like being messed over? You like being violated? You're going to keep taking L's. And you know what's sad about this? The battle rap community going to keep giving you L's. Watch how your dislike continue to go up and up. Watch how your views, you want some views? Watch how your views continue to get Go down and down and down. Because you, you don't have nothing else to offer. You can't bring nothing else to the table. Anybody know a coward and a loud mouth? That's what you've proven to be. A coward, a loud mouth, hating, seductive, obsessive, chump. That's what you are. You got a fetish with me, man. 
You got a wife and kids, fam. Attend to your family. Stop making me your business. Attend to your family. See that? Attend to your family. You a jealous, hating, obsessive dude. Talking about, oh, I just be trolling him. Trolling means stalking. Am I right or wrong, y'all? Don't troll and mean stalking. When you trolling somebody, ain't that another word for stalking? Yes, it is. So what do you mean you be trolling me? You sad. You a loser. You a sucker. Get a life. And thank you for three more thousand views and growing. <laughs> Dude, get a life, man. Battle truth. Night court. Lady wrong. Jealous. Everything we do better than everything we do better than you, man. I don't keep hating. Keep hating. It ain't gonna help you, fam. It ain't gonna help you like it ain't helping you now. You've been exposed again. Don't you, look at everything you tried. You failed. Every time you tried to, you failed. You sorry, fam. Get a life. Get a life. Out of here, dog. You a hater.